all right friends welcome back to the django and free ipa series and here one thing uh, i would show you that last in my last video actually i was trying to run my server through windows uh, command prompt and it was i don't know so buggy and uh, it was not running so smooth so one thing which solved my issue is i just or open this project inside my ide which is pycharm and here i just open that folder and it will give me that uh, django run server option and where it will run and you can see this link is generated if i click here django project is running here and all i have to do hit admin and hit enter and after that i want to log in as one of the user from free ipa and hit login and this is the error that we will receive which is uh, please enter correct username or password and you have to use uh, I mean some of the user from the Django okay so the thing is let just and uh, this time I will just quickly give you more depth in depth understanding of how Django authentication working right now so let's just go inside your project whatever project you created I created here name it free IPA and if you go inside that folder you will see there is file called settings.py just click on this file double click on this file and it will open whatever editor you are using it doesn't matter let me just increase the size so you can see things okay and uh, so guys if you go and uh, you see all the thing is like uh, there 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 are uh, there are middlewares which is this you can see this authentication middleware here and uh, by default this is the file even you install in even in your uh, installation uh, the file will be same so i did not change anything here yet and i'm going to change some of the settings inside the settings.py and uh, I will, we will just explore this sqlite file also so let's just double click here so we can visualize few of the schema here which is already created and one of the schema which we want to see is auth user let's double click on this so in actually in our pycharm we can visualize the database within the ide so here you can see this is the schema where you can see all the users but right now there is no user that's why it's empty i mean it's completely blank this is just just to show you uh, nothing we are not doing anything here okay let's just clear everything so make sure there is no confusion at all so let's start now our things to connect with our free ipa and django together this folder we no need at this time to view and let's just open this side by side okay i think that will be good enough to view and let's just close this directory also because we will be doing things inside our settings.py okay so the first thing is we need to import few uh modules that we install one of them is uh ildep and let let's just do one thing actually let's just go end of the file and here we will start our uh, ldap authentication settings okay so let's just import ldap this is what we want to import first and guys uh, all the imports must be ha happen in the top but uh, this is for demonstration i am putting it here later we will put on the top of the file Okay, so don't get it wrong we will just follow the pip standard and python standard uh, but even with this way it will work fine no issue also we need uh, uh, we need import os and os module is basically i will use to actually show uh, my, my environment variable here and just add my environment variable because my password is inside my environment uh, so i don't want to write the password here right even you also don't want to include the password in your file and if you don't know how to use the python environment and the password uh, you can how you can manipulate and uh, hide things then you can just follow my previous video which i created only on this this topic okay and uh, let's just go back to the of course uh, okay so another library that we want to import here another uh, that is actually our uh, Python package which we install Django auth ldep so import and this is basically we need to import from Django auth ldep and uh, from there you need to import some configs and one of the config is ldep search 
and another one is groups of uh, name types right so these two will be required for that that's it so this is our imports that we want to import later on you will you will see this is script inside the my github repository i will show you the link of uh, the uh, uh, repo in the video okay in the description of this video so now we will uh, create few uh, i mean to shorten this video i mean i will do one thing which is uh, let me just copy one of the code which i already test in my server and then i will show you one by one uh, how you can achieve that okay so that will be easy for you to understand and we can save a lot of precious time okay so guys this is what you should see here i will explain you each line where i ju we just did the imports here which is import ldep import os uh, and what and then we created a variable here the name is ldep server and this is the the address of our ldep server here you can see this is the address here ipa auth uh, hqfx dot auth this is the address that you need to type here and after that you need to create a, a uri and uri is ldep colon double uh, slash and after that ldep server i mean which is this and later on we will use this uri uh, for uh, actually this is this uri will be used for communicate with your server because that that's how the django auth ldep works so that even you can you can go and you can write this also here directly but this is just to make uh, your life easy yeah, so later on if you are using the same script you can just change your ipa server uh, host name here and it will be work fine in your case and also you need to uh, change this because right now in my case i'm using uh, my admin and my admin password and that is for actually uh, whenever you want to log in whenever you want a uh, user to log in with uh, ldap uh, you need to provide a admin account which who will go and verify that okay this user is valid or not and after that the one thing which is very important is this auth ldap user dn template and this is dn stand for distinguished name and that is uh, required where you if you want to see the pattern of this inside uh, the ipa structure so when i go and select any user and when you select user and uh, this is weird basically in here you can't uh, properly visualize maybe for that uh, the better option is you can uh, go with the uh, apache directory or any ldap browser where you can actually get this information but since i already did that uh, research so i already know that this with this method it will work so uid you should put uh, percentage user and that will be when any user try to log in with this username this username will be come here okay so then cn user cn account and uh, the, and the dc is domain controller cn is the common name and i think it's yeah it's common name or whatever and uh, that so this is what you have to follow and after that uh, auth ldep attribute map this is important here where you can actually see the first name is the name of uh, here you can see this this first name rajiv and this rajiv should be actually display here when a new user login so once what django and ldap what that will do is django talk to ldap and it will ask for okay this user is uh, i can allow that user so you, this a new user inside this auth table will be created so id will be auto auto generate password will be come from the server uh username will be the username of this which is this user first name will be this and last name will be uh here first name active and the last name right so if you see that this is they are already columns there and what this setting is saying is uh, hey whenever a user try to log in take their first name and take their last name and put it inside our main database so that entry will be created and uh, this settings is actually for the groups so if whatever groups you have those groups will be 
uh, sync inside the uh, your Django server. Another thing that is very important here, which is this: if you don't follow this, there will be uh, you will not able to log in. One thing is make sure your user must be is a staff and it should be in a super user that that will be fine if you can put super user or not super user means uh, they will get the admin rights by default but easy stuff is mandatory so for demonstration i just put ipa users all ipa users group members inside this and i will show you here what i'm talking about this ip users is when you select the groups and here you see this uh, there we have groups like admin editors ip users trust admin you just select ip users and here you see if there are two users here like rajiv and ian these two users can easily log in because that's why i here i mentioned now here we have one more thing which is very important and without that nothing will work is you need to define this authentication backends variable and in that backends basically you need to say that uh, what are your backend that you want to use here and uh, i think this uh, should be the model model backend so here first line is django auth elder backend elder backend and the second one is django auth country backend model backend and if if you use these two that means uh your whenever a user try to log in django will go to ldap and check whether this username and password exist in the ldap if it is exist inside ldap it will give you allow you to log in if not then it will check in the models also i mean it will check in this table and if in this table the data exists then it will allow you to log in but if nowhere uh, like uh, even in model the data is not exist the username and password then it will not allow you to log in. so this is what we have so far now let's see how this works together okay let's just go back to the run and uh, let me just uh, restart this so i restarted there is no issue so far we have username and password let's just try login and uh, nothing happened here uh, okay what might be the wrong here we can just go and uh, investigate ipa hqvfx dot auth just double confirm that ipa hqvfx dot auth this is fine and uh, uid user let me just go and uh, check the password hit enter perfect actually my password was wrong that time so this now rajiv is able to log in here uh, let's just uh, log out and check with ian also and hit login so now you see that ian is also log in here and if i go click on users here you see that all the information of uh, these users are already fetched from IPA so here you can see in Django administration and this is the free IPA so here Rajiv Ayan and Rajiv Ayan these both are there and these both are able to log in inside Django website let's just create a new user here now and just try login here just for a clear demonstration let's just hit add sorry about that we are in the group we should create a user here so user add uh, let's just create uh, for example user hp <laughs> so and then a password okay hit add so we just created a new user here hp and inside groups we see uh where is that ipa users so in ipa users why it's not there let's just see loading data my meanwhile this loading guys if you haven't subscribed my channel please go and subscribe okay i don't know why it's dead okay it's coming see hp is there perfect
and you already subscribe right okay let's just uh, log out login hp so hp elite book is the full name perfect here you see welcome hp go to users and here you see hp elite book perfect so guys this is it for this video here we just see how you can connect your django and ldap together using very few settings and you can achieve that part also i would like to show you here inside db if you see see all the users are created along with all the information you no need to key in manually one by one so with that way you can actually just use one user login and password and uh, so your user can log in inside system using this and also django also log in with this so guys you can find this script in my vfx pipeline channel repositories and link you can find in the description of this video so this is it for this video where we just see how we can connect free ipa and django together in my next video i will cover the same thing how you can connect microsoft active directory with django and doing achieve the same result okay so let's just follow my next video thank you guys